The Sopranos is recognised as one of the all-time great TV shows. James Gandolfini was its star. He was known to millions. You don't know who I am, do you? As the New Jersey mob boss, juggling his criminal empire with the demands of family life. I teach him to love and respect and appreciate his mother. What about your mother? It ran for six seasons, won him three Emmys, and made him world famous. <laughs> He'd been on holiday in Italy, where he was due to attend a film festival, when he had a suspected heart attack at his hotel. The hotel notified the emergency crews who responded, and first aid was administered before Mr. Gandolfini was taken to the hospital, where he died of an apparent heart attack. Our prayers and condolences go to Mr. Gandolfini's family and friends. James Gandolfini's popularity in The Sopranos didn't just underline his status as a major star. The success of the series, both on TV and especially in box set sales, helped the show's network, HBO, become one of the most powerful in broadcasting. He was more than a TV performer, though, enjoying a successful film career. His breakthrough role was in cult hit True Romance. His imposing physical presence meant he was often cast in authority roles. I'm about to go look the president in the eye. Earlier this year, playing the CIA director in the Hunt for Bin Laden movie Zero Dark Thirty. Today, other Hollywood stars paid tribute. But the, the beautiful thing about, uh, about Jim was that he was a people person first yeah. and then, then work. He was. Uh a consummate actor, but again, apart from that, just an incredibly generous good man. It was only last October that his wife gave birth to his second child. He'll be remembered as a larger-than-life figure who managed to bring sympathy and humanity to even the most violent of characters.